I am so excited to meet with the collective consciousness in our healing space. So today, I just want to continue the conversation on white knight syndrome. And we discussed being a white knight some time ago, and that is the person who always feels like they have to save someone, usually their partner. They feel like they have to give of themselves in order to receive love. The white knight feels like that they are not worthy of love and admiration on their own accord. So they try to do things almost in an overt way in order to receive that love and admiration that they crave. So I wanna talk to you about some subtypes of white knights. And the one that we are going to discuss today is that overly empathetic white knight. And this is the person that fears emotional distance. And this fear is triggered by many sources. And my clients know that I love triggers. Anytime a person is telling me that they are triggered, that is my emotional navigation system. That is telling me the parts of you that um, needs to be healed, right? Those are the parts that I can't see and that you can't really pinpoint. Um, But when you tell me that you are triggered by a person, place, or thing, then I know what to hone in on. I know that that is a part of you that needs some um, attention and some healing. So that overly empathetic white knight tries to maintain or restore some type of emotional connection to a person or a partner by being needed. They try to be good. They try to act as if they're a caregiver. And they try to positively affect their partners or this person's emotions. Usually this overly empathetic white knight has sexual jealousy and insecurity that can trigger their fear of emotional distance. The result of this is that this this overly empathetic white knight is driven to further prove that they are valued and loved by their partner or this person. This overly empathetic white knight worries excessively about their partner or this person that they have this emotional obsession with. And this worry is especially apparent during separations or when they feel um, that the person needs help or protection. The overly empathetic white knight may worry that the partner um, had not planned his life or their life properly and the poor planning might cause them to experience too much stress. And so in order to, to help with that, the overly empathetic jumps in and does things for the partner or person. So if you are um, the type of individual that is always jumping in because you are fearful um, that your person or your partner may be under too much um, stress or that they need help or if you do it for them, it will free them up for you, definitely need to have a conversation um, with a professional to see where that is coming from. That is not your role. That is not your lane. Why are you making it your job and responsibility? I have met with clients and individuals who was paying child support, who was paying car notes, who was um, doing... um, 
um, job applications, just kind of really going above and beyond for a person that was truly competent in connecting these dots. The person who does this, they have like a heightened sense of empathy, excessive guilt, and an intense fear of emotional distance. And in order to try to harness in on these feelings, the overly empathetic white knight um, tries to um, control or take care of any and everything that may cause um, distress or emotional distance between the two people. Super save a you know, okay? If you are... Um, in that lane of feeling like you have to rescue others, if you are attracted to needy, damaged, or helpless people, if you are feeling like your love can heal or save another person, if you're overly involved in your partner's problems, or if you are hungry for constant reassurance and relationships, none of these are good things. These are all red flags that you may be suffering from the white knight syndrome. Definitely email me at onthecouch1111 at gmail.com if this is bowling up your alley. And if you need some resources to a clinician to help you kind of understand where this is coming from. If you are exhausted with trying to save the world, right, one partner at a time, then definitely reach out and we will get you connected to someone that will help you sort out this mess because it is a mess. Until next time, my goal for you, my wish for you is to continue to be brave, be magical, but above all else, be well. Put them cakes down. Take care.